What's up everyone, my name is Joey and in today's video we will be discussing a new play to earn game called Grid and basically determine if it's worth an investment for you or either me to make. Now Grid is a battle royale game within a western team guys and I'm already a little bit skeptical to be honest. Like I will dive into why that is and why I think this project needs a lot of more improvement in order for it to succeed in my personal opinion but there's also a little bit of potential maybe for us within this project. Now let's dive into that description guys the publisher I mean the developer behind this project is Team Grid unfortunately I could not find a lot of information regarding that team or project or developer company guys which is a little bit of a red flag I always like to gather as much as information as possible regard a certain team guys I just invest into teams that's how I do it and yeah it's a little bit unfortunately that the information is not really out there it's not really in the open it's not really up for grabs if that makes any sense you know they don't make it easy for me to find information regarding the team so that's a little bit of an issue that I'm having and I see it more often with games on gala games guys which I don't personally don't really understand I mean you're a project you are seeking for investors so at least have a known transparent team out there that we can learn about right now that description is this town ain't big enough for the two of us and it ain't just the two of us looking for a fight ride or die in the ultimate wild west battle royale where there's more to winning than aiming true settle up and ride across town build Building the best poker hand from found weapons to make a killing. Grab the best shooter to hand and gun your way to infamy on the new frontier. Explore the towns, oil fields and plains of the untamed west as you try to hitch a ride on the last man alive train. But hold on to your 10 gallon hat, it will protect you as you're shooting up a storm. If a gunslinger shoots you down, keep your head on, a 1v1 wild west showdown could put you back in the game if you got a quick draw. So that is basically the gulag mechanic in Warzone guys, Call of Duty Warzone, the battle royale of yeah, Activision. And we can already see a couple of screenshots guys, now I have to admit the screenshots do look very good guys in terms of production value this is a triple a game we can see it right here because if you're familiar with my channel and seen my previous videos you know that there's a lot of shite and garbage currently in the gaming crypto space and overall in the crypto industry i need to admit so whenever i see a production value like this i just like it already okay that's a little bit of a plus side a little bit of a green flag i would say because look at this guys it looks very nice also i think a western team is quite Quite unique it reminds me of red dead redemption which is a very popular game by rockstar guys especially the second sequel which was absolutely phenomenal and it reminds me a little bit of that guys so it's a very unique game and a very unique team which could be beneficial for this project and this game guys we can also see a couple of different weapons that players can choose from i believe that we are able to find these weapons like in any other battle royale game which you can then kill your opponents with them we could see a sickle which is presumably a legendary weapon because it's orange or maybe this is just your standard weapon that everyone spawns with at the start of the game now we also can see some type of revolver which is in green presumably uncommon or rare and a west church which is a rifle gun and an outlaw which is some type of a shotgun i believe we could see the map area your basic layout for a battle royale basically guys also you can purchase a gunslinger box which is basically your character npc that you can purchase and there's only ten thousands of these npc does that mean that there will only be 10,000 players maximum? No, that's not the case, guys. They do have a free-to-play mechanic, which is very good because I was a little bit concerned when I saw this because what, what do you mean? You only want 10,000 players to play your game within a battle royale environment. That's not going to last. But of course, they have a free-to-play mechanic. Whenever you play with a gunslinger NFT, then you gain more rewards on winning, for example, a battle royale. Whereas if you have a free-to-play character, you will not earn as much of their token, basically. That's that's how that works also guys if we go to the website like it does look good there's just a very dedicated professional team behind grit guys settle up and fight for your life strap on your big iron and get ready for showdown like also a little bit of a trailer right here this is a cinematic trailer unfortunately because i would like to see a little bit of a gameplay demo so we can already envision ourselves how the game is going to be played now i have a couple of concerns and i'm a little bit skeptical like i stated in the beginning of my video guys 
because yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it, okay, it sounds and it looks quite unique. I have to agree. I would enjoy the game probably, but guys, it is a very highly competitive market within the battle royale niche and genre, guys. We have Fortnite, we have Warzone, we have that other game that I forgot the name of, which is in a very sci-fi environment. And in all these games, there's so much in-depth and different type of mechanics within the game. So I don't know, this game already looks a little bit lackluster, if that makes any sense. Yeah, you can shoot with some type of revolvers, you could shoot with a shotgun. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. And there is a sickle in the game, okay? Like, it, it, you can only go so far within a Western team. I hope that makes sense. Unless the environment is very interactive, which would be cool, like trains running down the world and, and other events happening within the world, then this Battle Royale can diverse themselves and be unique and truly unique within the Battle Royale genre. But yeah, a, a Western team, you can only do so much. You can't implement rockets. You can't implement all these sci-fi mechanics within like Fortnite. You can let your fantasy go wild and it would be possible within their ecosystem. But with a Western team, some type of semi-realistic battle royale. Yeah, out. I'm a little bit skeptical on that, guys, because yeah, it's new. So it's going to be played a little bit. But I'm a little bit skeptical for the long term and the longevity of this game, guys. That, because I think I would be enjoying this game for one or two days. And then, yeah, it's going to be very boring for me. But that's, that's an assumption, guys. Because, yeah, we just have to play the game in order to really form our opinion on that aspect. Okay, guys? Run and gun or hijack the last train out of the town. But remember, sometimes there's no running from the coming calamity. Whatever this means, guys, I have no clue. There's some type of train. So we will have to wait for that, guys. Battle Royale action. The saloon table spills into the streets as wild cards keep every match fresh and unique. Collect the weapon cards you need for your style or risk your old trusty guns to try for a winning hand. Now, as we spoke about it earlier, guys, you can purchase a NFT already, which is about 25,000 gala tokens, which is around $1,200. $50 as of today guys and today it's the 19th of July 2022 and that is just really ridiculously expensive guys it doesn't make any sense like whenever a NFT company is launching they just think they can ask any single price and I don't blame them because there is already 4,221 people that purchased this very overly priced expensive NFT guys it's a little bit mind-boggling in my personal opinion now let's say that this becomes the new Fortnite then yes, probably this NFT will be worth more eventually, okay? Especially if it gets as popular as Fortnite or even more popular, which I am, again, very skeptical that that will happen, guys, with all the reasons that I gave earlier. So $1,250 for a NFT? Jesus freaking Christ, guys. Why does it always have to be so expensive? And why does it always have to consult multiple microtransaction mechanics within a NFT blockchain game? Why can't a NFT blockchain game just have a retail price whereas everything you obtain in game is regard an nft right why can't we have that guys why can't we have like the original gaming industry whereas you pay for the game or even a subscription and within the game everything you obtain is an nft that you can sell towards other players and i get it guys i understand game developers need to make and generate revenue okay they need to make profit i understand but even if i would trade my in-game nft towards another player there could be some type of a commission or a tax system based upon the transaction right guys for example a royalty system whereas like let's say every transaction the game developers get five percent now here you go guys all of a sudden you have a monetization system for your game i don't understand why everything needs to be like a mobile gaming approach every nft blockchain game that i've been reviewing so far has these micro transaction mobile gaming gimmicks implemented and i don't understand why can't a blockchain game Game, just be having a retail price and everything you own in game is just a NFT that you can sell. It would just open up so much more freedom to the player. It would also reduct a lot of the shitty predatory microtransaction systems that we see a lot these days. So yeah, I'm a little bit skeptical guys. Overall, yeah, it, the production level does look good. Now let's look at the Twitter account real quick. And this is also a pity. Why doesn't Grid have their own Twitter channel? I don't understand. Like they, they link it 
to Gala Games again, just like uh, Fortitude that I've been reviewing two days ago. So I don't really understand why they do that, guys. Now let's look at the Discord account real quick. Yeah, there's not a lot of things going on, guys. Like there's an announcement section, which has zero posts and grip discussion. Yeah, th th I mean, there's basically nothing going on. If we go to the Ambus Word Discord, a project that I'm following currently, they just have so many updates and like they show different type of designs that they're working on and they go really in depth with their development updates guys that's what i really like because that shows me and tells me that the people behind this project are just very dedicated passionate game developers guys they just want to see each every single moment in order to explain and tell us more about their game and that should be the approach guys those are the guys that i invest in and it, it has been beneficial for me personally like i stated in my previous videos guys i will make a couple of videos shortly especially on ambus word because on ambus word i have been able to make a lot of money and i am very 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 picky when i invest into games guys i really only invest into gems everything needs to make sense in my brain in order to invest and even then even for example ambus word which has been very profitable for me but even ambus word i have a little bit of concern so there will always be some type of healthy concerns going on but that's okay as long as it's not too much of a red flag or too many red flags going on on a single project guys but with grit i am not really certain guys like I stated before it is in a western environment that's the team that they chose and therefore yes it is unique but yeah you can only stretch it and go so far with this game right how fun is this going to be how in depth is this going to be and the only way for us to tell is really to go back one day and really try and test out the game guys that's really the only way to really form our final opinion on if this is going to be worth it or not but presumably all the nfts will be already sold before it's going to launch that's what we can assume okay so there might be an opportunity whereas i believe they are just ridiculously overpriced and expensive because 1250 dollars for a single character i am not going to pay that guys but there could be a opportunity okay guys because just before the launch let's say the game is going to launch in like three months and you can see that the sales are going quite rapidly and there might be an opportunity guys to seize one of these nfts because presumably if this game does gain traction and a lot of people want to play this game then they also want to hold one of these nfts okay that's usually how it goes so this could be potentially a good very short-term investment because i would only go ahead with this nft for the short-term flip guys i'm straight honest with you guys i'm not gonna do it because there's barely information known about the team i couldn't find anything regarding that also the discord is very shallow yes the game production looks very triple a but yeah everything combined i'm not willing to do that but as this is also a informative channel there could be a small opportunity for you for a short term flip potentially guys but remember always do your own research because that's the most important aspect of my channel guys because you need to iterate your own identity as an investor because remember guys be a leader in this space and do not be a sheep peace out